Hello, my name is Adam Saudagar and welcome to the seventh and the final episode of Subbot API Tutorials. In this episode, we will be looking into action. So let's jump into it. So what is action? Action is any interaction with WhatsApp web to either perform something on the UI or to collect data from it. In action, you have to use the lower level Selenium API to perform action. Some example of action can be send message action or image upload action. Essentially send message action will send a message to a group and image upload action will upload an image on the group. So there are special actions called checker actions. Checker actions are mostly used to collect data. These are a couple of checker actions used in the core subbot API. The first one is check in current group action which checks new messages in the current group and the other is check other group for new action which checks for new messages in other groups. So how to use actions in subbot API? It's pretty simple. First you just need to create a new class and extend it with action and then just implement the task method. When that is done, you just need to add the action to the queue when you need to use it. That's it. So first, let's see how to implement the task method. So the task method is executed when an action has to be performed. It should contain the lower level Selenium API calls to either read data from the UI or to perform some action on the UI. On the right, you can see an example of the task method. This is the image upload action task. So essentially what it does is first it goes to the group, then it presses the attachment icon, then it inputs the location of the image and then it just presses the send button. So now let's see how to add the action to the queue. So there are two ways to add action to the queue. The first way is to do it programmatically by using the bot object and the second way is by using console commands. We will look into both of them. So for adding the action to the queue by using bot object, you just need to use the method bot.getActionManager.add and then pass in the object of the action you want to add. That's it. That's all you need to do. So to add action using console command, you need to make sure of two things. First, you will need to make sure that the parameter of the constructor are either primitive variable string or it implements this method public static t cast from string string s. What this method basically does is it converts string into an object. So let's suppose you want to take client in the constructor. By using this method, you will convert a string into a client object. So this is basically parsing. That's all. This method is actually implemented in the client and the chat group class. So you can just look into the source of support API and see how it is defined over there. And the second thing you will need to do is you will need to add the actions class object in the bot by using bot.getRemoteActionCall.add method in the add things in bot method in the main class. After you do these two things, you will just need to use the action console command to add the action to the queue. That's it. All, all this might be sounding very abstract and very difficult. But once we will look into an example, you will understand how to use action much better. So today we will be making an image search feature inside WhatsApp itself. So the client will just need to search an image by using a command and the bot will search an search for that query on the web and return an image for it and it will just automatically upload it to the whatsapp so let's see action in action so first let's see what the bot will automate so essentially the bot will just press the attachment icon then the photos thing and it will upload an image and press the send button So for the bot to recognize each of the buttons, you, we will need to create an XPath for it. Learning how to write XPath is beyond the scope of this tutorial. 
if you want to learn that i will link a tutorial in down in the description you can just follow it so this pen corresponds to the attachment icon so we will just get that span xpath and as you can see we are getting the result of it then we will need to get the xpath of this pictures button as you can see this is an input so we can just send the url of the image of the local file as this might be the only one image button we can just use the accept parameter to create its xpath so you can see we just get one unique result and then finally uh, we will need to get the xpath for the send button that should be pretty simple too we will just inspect element it and get the span of the button let's just test the xpath see if it, let's see if it's unique and as you can see we are getting just one result so and here we go we have we have all the xpaths we need now we just need to write the code to automate the button pressings so in this episode i have pre-written all the code i'll just i'm just going to explain you what the code does because if i write all the code in this episode it will just make the episode very lengthy so i i have copied all the xpaths into a, into different strings as you can see here so in the constructor we are just getting the the chat group object in which we have to send the image and the location of the image in the file system that's it so these are just going to be the two variables we need to send an image so in the task method what the bot does is basically it first goes to the group it wants to send the image to then it clicks the attach button then it sends the location of the image in the local directory to the input button of the image then finally it presses the send button to send the image in the main class we have added the class object of image upload action class to get remote action call so that we can call it using console commands so let's just test it out and see if it works okay let's first see how to use the action console command so for that i'll just use the help help command so we just need to write help action as you can see in the usage first we will need to write the class name then the parameters it takes in the constructor so let's write the action command first then the then the name of the class and then the parameters it takes so the first parameter is the chat group so we will write, we will write group 1 and the second thing is the location of the image so i have kept the image in the c directory as you can see over here image.jpeg so we'll just write that image we'll just get the location of the image and paste it over here let's see if it works and as you can see it automatically sends the image very nice okay so now we want the user to be able to search for a query so for that we will need to create a feature and a command so this is the feature we are going to use it basically just has one command in it called the image command we will look into the image command in a short moment the feature just has one abstract method called get description which just returns the description of the feature that's it now let's look into the image command class this is going to look a bit complex i'll just break down the code for you over here we are using bing image search api for getting the image from the web this is not a tutorial for the bing search api if you want to learn how to use it i'm going to link some post or a video in the description you can just follow it and learn it yourself but for the code i have written here i'm going to explain each line one by one so first we just have a temporary location where the image is going to be saved then the second 
then query template is the template for the search query and over here is my private key i have blurred it so that you can actually use it if you want to get your own private key then you will need to register on azure and activate the bing images api for yourself image command just takes in one parameter which will be the query of the image and it will be available for all the registered users so for the third parameter we are just going to give member rule okay so in the compute method uh, we will be getting a search query so what we will do is get the search query and create a http get request using it using the template and the query sent by the user so first we create a request url using the query and the query template and then we create our http get request using it then we add the key to the header and then we execute the request and then we store the result in a result string after we get the result we will need to get the url of the image so that we can download the image from there to get the url we are just we are just traversing through the json response when we get the image url we are just deleting the temporary image file if there is saved one and then we are downloading the image from the url and saving to the temporary location then after we have downloaded the image successfully we are just going to add the image upload action to the queue and send in the chat group and also the location of the saved image now let's see how the image is downloaded okay so this method actually downloads the image from the web and saves it to the location passed into the parameter so first we are just creating a http get request and passing in the image url then we are we are adding a header so that it recognizes us as a browser not as a bot then we will get the response from the http get client after we get the response we just have to create an input input stream and copy the data from the stream into a file and write the file after we have written the file we will just close the stream and the file file output stream if you have any difficulty understanding the code you can contact me anytime on discord or you can just comment below i will try to explain you it in as detail as possible if you are still not getting it i'll try to create a video explaining it how this actually works so don't worry let's see if it actually works so i am typing down the command in the group and it works perfectly nice let's try it again nice it's working very well so i hope you have gotten a good understanding of what action is and how to use it now let's look into an exercise that you can do yourself so what you can do is create a feature where the bot sends a welcome message when someone joins a group so for this you will need to create a checker action instead of just a normal action creating a checker action is very simple you just need to create an action and just add it to the checker service in the bot that's it if you don't understand how to do that you can look into the source of subbot so what the action will do is it will just find the message which says someone has joined the group if it recognizes that message it will send a welcome message to that group pretty simple right if you have any issue understanding this tutorial or if you have any questions regarding it you can contact me on discord or just write a comment below links for everything is down in the description thank you guys for watching like and subscribe this video if you have enjoyed this and i'll see you guys later